today is my 100th YouTube video. So I made a list of 100 things you may or may not know about me. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to be notified because I'm not really as consistent as I'd like to be. And lastly, leave a comment below. So what's your full name? Okay. My name is Craig Jamison. How old are you? I'm 44 years young. What star sign are you? I'm a Virgo. What's a Virgo personality trait? Uh, yes, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Okay, let me ask you. Was everybody Kung Fu fighting? Not everyone was Kung Fu fighting. You're over 40, did you have a midlife crisis? Turning 40 for me was more of a rebirth than it was a midlife crisis. I found that I rediscovered myself when I was about to turn 40. Where were you born? I was born in South Africa, so I'm South African. Don't you have a British passport? I have a UK passport and birth certificate. Let's just back up. So Jamison like the whiskey. You say my surname as Jamison like the whiskey, not Jamie Son. I don't have any kids. I have an 11 year old son named Dexter. Have you ever been married? I am divorced. What do you do? My last job title was Executive Creative Director. So you're creative. My whole life people have referred to me as being creative. But you're a designer. I will always consider myself firstly a designer. How long have you been doing this for? I've been doing this for about 22 years now. And you studied this? I had no formal design education at all. So how do you know what you're doing? I'm completely self-taught. No metric? I actually only have a grade 10. That means no metric. And I've literally not been hired because of it. Have you studied anything? <laughs> the only qualification I have is as a personal trainer. Aren't you? Is it true that you drink a lot of sugar? Uh, yeah, I do have eight spoons of sugar in my grande cappuccino. And you don't drink at all? I don't drink. On very rare occasion, I might have a little bit of wine, but I'm talking about once or twice a year. Have you ever been a smoker? No, I don't smoke. I gave up smoking cigarettes in 2003. Do you smoke weed? No way. Marijuana just messes my head up. I can't do it. You don't drink fizzy cold drinks? I last drank any sort of fizzy cold drink, any sort of soda, back in 2012, I think. What's your favorite chocolate? A lion bar which I've only ever found in the UK. What's your favorite food? Yeah, uh, favorite food has to be pancakes, okay, maybe hot dogs, but yeah, I've had to pick pancakes. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes, pineapple does belong on pizza. So you've got like a youthful approach to life. Tell me something else. Yeah, I, I don't believe there's ever a bad time to celebrate with cake. So you have a bit of a sweet tooth. <laughs> yes, I have a sweet tooth. So how do you stay in shape? I fast pretty much every day and I do circadian fasting, which is pretty much sunset to sunrise. But I mean, it's really 13 hours. So if I do eat late, then so be it. I keep track of it on an app named Zero. I'll put a link down below. How long have you been going to gym? Yeah, fitness is important to me. And while I've been slacking lately, um, I've been going to the gym since I was 18 years old. What's the best way to train? Yeah, the fittest I've ever been was when I did CrossFit. And that's when I dropped my weight 
and I just felt the best and things hurt the least was when, yeah, when I did CrossFit. If you could have like one thing before your next birthday, what would it be? Yeah, I would love a six pack. How many tattoos do you have? Yeah, uh, there's probably too many to count. Do you have a favorite tattoo? My mom's name. Okay, what's your best physical attribute? Yeah, my best physical attribute would... I'd probably say my eyes. Tell me a personal belief. I believe that the only person responsible for your own happiness is you. Thanks, Suri. <laughs> um, okay, and what else? Either be a full ass or like, don't do it at all. Like, I just don't see a need. Yeah, what, what that means is just whatever you do, whether it be working, whether it be playing with your kids, whether it be driving, whether it be singing karaoke. Go all in or don't do it at all. There's no point in like waffling through life. Like it's okay to say no, you know what's not good for you and, and walk away. But otherwise, put your heart into everything. You seem like quite a positive guy. What's your secret? Um, yeah, I guess the thing I try to live by is I try not to complain. And if I do catch myself complaining, then I just check myself pretty quickly. Because complaining doesn't really get you anywhere. Are you a romantic? Yeah, I guess I am a romantic. Um, for me, an ideal date is not whining and dining with somebody. It's sitting on a rooftop under the stars. It's watching a sunset. It's long walks on the beach. If you could give the younger generation a piece of advice. Yeah, never grow up. You might grow old, but just never grow up. I've seen some awesome Lego minifigure displays. Yeah, some people might find this childish, but um, I have almost a thousand Lego minifigures. Wouldn't some people say that's a bit childish and, and possibly uh, like you collect toys? Yeah, I consider them to be art, not toys. That's why I have them on a display and they're like paintings on my wall. It's Lego singular. Oh, okay, that's an American thing. I've heard you build like robots. Yeah, so I built these like 30 centimeter mix out of different Lego sets. So I'll find a theme like a fire engine or a spaceship, and then I build these 30 centimeter mix. I think I'm going to make a video about that soon. Which is your favorite Lego minifigure? Hold on. Yeah, my favorite minifigure is Hot Dog Guy. I see a lot of greenery around you. Yeah, I love to be surrounded by plants. It's something that I get a lot of energy from and just something that I've grown to want to surround myself with. Would you say that you are spiritual? Yeah, I'm very self-aware, I'm very conscious about what's going on around me. If you could tell people just one thing, yeah, just be kind. Are you competitive? 
I'm the least competitive person I know. What do you mean? I want us to all cross the finish line together. If you could do anything other than what you do now. Yeah, I wish that I could skate, surf and snowboard for the rest of my life. Like, be a super shredder. If you could check off one item on your bucket list. Yeah, I want to go skydiving before the end of the year. Like, that would be a win for me to just like tick off the bucket list. If you won the lotto, what would you do? Yeah, unlike other people, like I wouldn't travel like around the world endlessly or anything like that. I would, I would probably buy like a studio, build a studio on an island somewhere where I can create all I want, and then I can go for a walk on the beach or surf or swim or something. I mean, that's pretty much my perfect life. If you had to choose between going to space or million dollars, uh, I'd take the money. Give me, give me the money. Um, I, I like the idea of space, but I, I'm not that intrigued. Uh, there's still a lot of things I want to do here. Have you lived anywhere other than Johannesburg? Other than Joburg, I've like lived and worked in Cape Town a couple of times. Uh, London about three or four times and I've lived in Hong Kong so you've moved around a lot yeah I think I've lived in probably as many different places there's been years in my life favorite city in the world New York City favorite restaurant? I would have to say Itchy Buns in Soho, London. The Japanese burger joint where they have cheeseburgers that look like steamed buns. If you could travel to a new city this year, where would you go? I'd like to say Tokyo, but that's a big trip. So the next place that I've never been before would have to be Paris. What do you still need to discover about yourself? Uh, yeah, I believe that I'm yet to discover the artist within me. That's definitely something that I'm going to focus on in the future. Which artist can you relate to the most? Yeah, if, if there's somebody, I would have to say I could probably relate best to Leonardo da Vinci. You know, he was a sculptor, a painter, he drew anatomy, he was a designer, he was an innovator. I mean, you look at his stuff, he was way, way, way ahead of his time. And I feel that even though I've probably created a lot of self-imposed uh, things to hold me back, and given that, hey, I'm not funded the way that Leonardo was funded, I probably would be doing the same thing. And I think, I think like him, I've never said to myself, oh, I want to be a painter. Or, oh, I want to be a designer exclusively. I've always wanted to explore different avenues and I'm always tinkering with different things and my mind's always working on different stuff. So, you know, I've watched that interview with Elon Musk who I would say is our modern day Leonardo. And I feel that watching him and how his brain struggled to answer questions on the Joe Rogan show, I understand that he's just flooded with thoughts and ideas and it's really hard to control that. And I go through that. I try my best with the energy that I have to explore every avenue. And yeah, so given that I can draw, I can, I could paint, I just need to paint, but I can design, I can animate, I can illustrate, I can edit, I can direct, I can lead. So there's any number of things that I'm capable of doing, which in my mind says that I'm pretty much like Leonardo da Vinci. Do you have a favorite painter? Yeah, my I'd say my favorite painter is Jackson Pollock and probably because he wasn't 
a genius and I can relate to his struggle and yeah I just love that like all those spatters are mathematically like fit into some equation or something crazy like that. Change the subject. Uh, oh no. Do you have a lucky number? My lucky number or the magic number has to be seven. Tell us something most people wouldn't know about you. Uh, to some people this might be embarrassing but it's reality. But I only got my driver's license at 36. It's a long story. Did you ever have a handle online? Yeah, um, most people know me online as DigiGuru. So for at least 10 years, that was my handle. It ended up becoming my URL and basically the name of my company and yeah everybody online I don't think anybody even knew my name everyone just knew me as DigiGuru and I think they thought I was a company not an individual Is it true that you mostly wear black t-shirts? Yes, 90% of my t-shirts are black How do you want to be remembered? Uh, I hope that I'd be remembered as like a really inspiring leader designer like human and like a really great lover and great friend and most importantly like I hope my son will think of me as a really great father Most people are intimidated by you Tell, me, tell us something that people don't know about you I'm a hugger What piece of tech can't you live without? Yeah, I can't really live without my cell phone and probably my MacBook. What's your favorite new piece of tech? Yo, my Canon EOS R is probably the favorite piece of tech and the, the thing that intimidates me the most, but the piece of tech I feel I'm going to get the most value out of. What app? software do you use the most? Like Apple software, I think at the moment what I use mostly because I've kind of removed everything off my phone. So probably is software and that's probably Adobe Premiere of late. I edit for hours every single day so I'm learning that all the time. Would you say you're an Apple fan? Yeah, I guess I'm a bit of an Apple fanboy because I like the ecosystem. Everything just kind of connects to one another and it's just really easy to kind of go from one thing to the other. So my notes are across everything. Uh, I can airdrop anywhere. So I like the ecosystem. The products I feel haven't hugely innovated but like you can't deny how like epically amazing the features are on this camera. Even if they're not hugely evolved, they're brilliant. I, I don't think there's a better camera that I'd want to use. What's the one thing you wish you could get that's outside of South Africa? Yeah, I really want to get my hands on a boosted board. The idea of an electric skateboard and specifically a boosted is something that really excites me. What makes you uncomfortable to talk about? Yeah. I don't like talking about money, politics, uh, religion. Those things all make me a bit uncomfortable. I also don't think it's important to talk about people. I have people talk about ideas, not people. What about being social uh, annoys you? Conversation about deep things that I like small talk. seem to be quite an extremist. I'm yeah, pretty extreme. I would say I'm like either zero or like a hundred. It's not really a middle ground. What's next in your career? I think for me, my career, it's still in product design, but I think with a focus a lot more on 
content creation and storytelling. Are you introverted or extroverted? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite antisocial and people say I'm introverted. But I think it's like like one on one with me and I feel great and I feel comfortable and nobody who ever meets me says I'm introverted. But I think if you had to generally kind of go, you know, what's what am I like? Well I guess I kinda am. I tend to be alone a lot and I'm okay with it. Like it suits me. I find too many people too much. Tell me something that you're interested in. I'm interested in learning more about like love languages. I'm interested in kind of discovering a little bit more about business, I guess, like as I mature and as I try and set myself up for the future, but I don't overly worry about it. Um, and then I don't know, there's some like, I'm, I'm interested in things like voice activated devices and into reality and how we can use that and then how AI can positively be used without the bots going crazy. You always seem to be learning something new. Why is that? Yeah. Yeah, the, the one constant is change. You seem to know a lot about everything, but I've heard that you don't watch the news or anything. Yeah, I, I don't watch the news on TV, I don't listen to the radio, I don't read the newspaper, I don't like any of that. Isn't that like, like a bit ignorant? Yeah, I, I, I guess it's ignorant by choice. So I know that I have access to all of this stuff, but I choose to not focus my energy on that and rather put my energy into other things. Who's your favorite podcaster? Joe Rogan. You read, what's your favorite book? Manifest Now by Idil Ahmed. Favorite musician? Bob Marley. Like is, is music your life? I appreciate music, but it's not my life. I find TV, is the soundtrack to my life. So what's your favorite TV show? <sighs> it's a tough one. There's Game of Thrones, Sopranos, but I would probably say my all-time favorite is Boston Legal. Do you like movies? Are you a Bond guy? I do like Bond, but my Bond, there's two of them, would have to be Sean Connery and Roger Moore. Don't hate. Okay, Biggie or Tupac? Biggie. Are you a Star Wars fan? And what color would your lightsaber be? That's something my son would ask me. Yes, if I had the force and I had a lightsaber, it would be blue. If you were a TV character, who would you be? Yeah, I'd probably say Hank Moody from Californication. Uh, probably Ray Donovan. And yeah, the part of me that's Alan Shaw from Boston Legal. Do you play video games like retro game Tetris? And then I would probably say Tekken. I played a lot of Tony Hawk Pro Skater, but I can't do that anymore. And I think it's called like Time Cop or Time Crisis or something like that, like an old shooting game. Like, yeah, I really dig that. What's the most addictive series you've ever watched? Game of Thrones. If you were a superhero, who would you be? If I was a superhero, I'd have to be Deadpool. I have a bit of a potty now. Favorite series since Game of Thrones? My favorite series since Game of Thrones, I think it would probably have to be the Apple series called C. 
with Jason Momoa. It's from Momoa. That is a drink. What's the most recent series that you've watched? High Fidelity with Zoe Kravitz. It's got something very nostalgic to it that I really love. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Probably say my favorite YouTuber has to be Casey Neistat. And have you come across anybody like new recently? Janelle Eliana, she just cracks me up and I just like her videos. I think she's like the fastest growing YouTuber ever. Have you made a lot of movies that you didn't think were good enough? Yeah, I've definitely made more movies, but this is my 100 YouTube video published publicly. Cool, thanks man. I hope you like that. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, finding out a little bit more about me. I think that you could probably say that I could do this all day. My name's Craig Jamison. This was my 100th YouTube video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. And stay cool.